Hey folks, it is Friday, June 9th. The time is 3.05 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 17 degrees Celsius. And that is the intersection of Young and College. Well, College on the left and Carlton on the right. And there's College Park across the street. I was just in the area recording a video at the shops at Aura, a failed underground shopping mall just up ahead here. And it's turned out to be a pretty nice day, so I thought I'd take a walk at Ventures around the east side of downtown. So what I'll do is I'll head south down to Girard, and then I think I'll walk over to the Allen Gardens, and then I'll head south down Sherburne Street to Dundas. And I'll make my way back over to Young and maybe head down to Queen Station. So this is south down the east side of Young Street. Oh, this camera seems to be tilt locked right now. Let me take it out of tilt lock mode. There we go. I put it in that mode when I use the e-bike or e-scooter. And just across the street are these shops at Aura. That's a 79 story, 892 foot tall, mostly residential condo. There's an Ikea and a Marshalls in its base, as well as the shops at Aura. Now it is connected underneath to College Park. And for the time being, it's the tallest residential tower in the city, although a taller one is opening just across the street pretty soon. I don't think pretty soon is the right word, but soon enough. That's a project known as Concord Sky. I'll be walking by that in a moment. And there's a few more towers already under construction that will surpass it in height. So I can continue south down Young here, and this will take us to Dundas Square and the Eaton Center. But we're gonna go left at Girard. Well, it looks like there's a tower plan for this lot here on the left that will be 76 stories and 240 meters. Let's go left here. <laughs> and on that corner was the former home of a much beloved pizza restaurant called The Big Slice. But now it's being redeveloped into Concord Sky. I believe it was previously the YSL Residences, but that developer went belly up and Concord took over the project. And that one will be 85 stories or 299 meters, one meter shy of that elusive super tall moniker. And 
and this is east along the north side of Gerard Street East. I'm not sure when these bike lanes went in, but they've been here at least since the mid 2000s. Although prior to these plastic bollards going up, they were just unprotected painted lines. And over there is the Toronto Metropolitan University campus, formerly known as Ryerson. And I think they're putting up a brand new major development just east of here near Jarvis Street. I was reading about that earlier today. But this is through an area known as the Garden District, and it's named that after the Allen Gardens. Which unfortunately has been well known for its encampments. And those have been making the news lately, and some local city councillors have been speaking up. So we'll go for a walk past there, maybe even through the Allen Gardens and see what the situation is like. Original Philly steak sandwich. I think they set up in the food building at the CNE every year. And this is Church Street coming up. here is the village neighborhood and that will serve as ground zero for Pride Month which we are in right now Twenty pipes, bongs, scales, hookah. Yes, why ride in a bike lane when you can ride on the sidewalk? There's just been a number of towers popping up on the east side of downtown. I think these buildings here on the left are doomed, where PETA land is. See a change has been proposed for the site. And just past Jarvis Street will be the Allen Gardens, famous for its botanical gardens, which are public accessible. So 
speaking of famous, here's the famous Hooker Harveys. Back before the days of the internet. This is where a lot of street workers roamed in this area. And this Harveys picked up that moniker. I mentioned it before, but if you go into Google Maps and type Hooker Harveys, they'll actually point to this location. Oh, if these walls could talk. There's the Jarvis Street Baptist Church. I think that Econo Lodge served as a shelter during the pandemic. So apparently, Allen Gardens has experienced its largest number of encampments ever, from what I read. And the city has erected signs indicating park hours are between 5.30 a.m. to midnight, and there's to be no camping or tents erected. Ironic that sign says no trespassing, yet we are in a public park. There's been reports of very visible drug use and needles in the area, as well as reports of violence, including assaults and even murder. And city councilor Chris Moyes, M-O-I-S-E, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, has recently spoken up against this and addressed it in several, I guess, newsletters or press releases, saying it's about time something was done. Really, public parks should be a safe space for everyone in the community, and a lot of people in this area just do not feel safe here. I'm not sure what the answer is. Apparently, Outreach workers have contacted everybody here and offered support and to move them on. And that has been denied. Uh, look at it. Tense as far as the eye can see. Definitely a sad sight. For a city like this one, well, for any city. I don't know the answers. I'm not gonna touch that one with a 10 foot pole, but this is not the solution. You can see a lot of the new towers going up, clustered around Dundas and Jarvis. This might be a topic worth revisiting in a video in the near future. I just always oh, ridden past it on my bike or scooter in recent times. And I never really noticed that it was on the scale that it is now. If I lived in the area, I'm not sure I would take kids here or be that comfortable walking my dog here even. Well, let's go south down Sherburn. A 
a street which had bike lanes installed back in 2013 to replace the bike lanes that were ripped out of Jarvis Street. They're one of the better examples of bike lanes in the city. They're separated and elevated, although I think a proper curb separation would be more appropriate. And this area has a bit of a colorful reputation, you could say. I've never felt unsafe here, but... I've seen comments on Reddit where people have said they have. And there's a house at 230 Sherburne Street. This is 300 that has a camera set up. And they used to post YouTube videos of some of the shenanigans that would take place outside their property, including people try to rip the camera down. I don't know if that site is still up. You could pop 230 Sherburne into YouTube and see, and this is also where the original Kenny vs. Spenny house was from that TV show, Kenny vs. Spenny. I don't know what he said to me, but look forward, don't make eye contact, keep moving. I think they lived in a few different homes. But we're just gonna head down to Dundas, and that 230 Sherburne is just south of Dundas. I'll make my way back over to Young. Bachelor apartments available. I wonder what the rent goes for. Everything you can imagine is real. Nice vet. So this building had a cage put up in front of it and they had to apply for special permission from the city to do that due to the amount of people loitering in front of the property. This is not one of the intersections that has the best reputation in the city. Church acts as an outreach center across the street. And that is a look east along Dundas Street East. And now it is west along the south side, or rather the north side of Dundas Street West. Okay, it's playing ball hockey.
this is Pembroke. This is where the Ken Continuum lives. A fellow Toronto YouTuber. a 505 Dundas streetcar. Well, that will not be going to Broadview Station. I think it said it's going to Victoria Park. I think that's the Victoria Park loop. Fillmore's, a hotel and adult entertainment venue, but there's an application put in to redevelop that entire property. So its days are most likely numbered. That sign says naked chicks and hockey sticks. Only one of these never disappoints. Let's go Blue Jays. Oh, you gotta love a dig at the Maple Leafs. There seems to be something going on over there. Pickup truck pulled over and maybe the car in front of it doesn't seem like it's parked properly. Maybe it was rear-ended. I'm just going to continue west here over to Young and then maybe hop down in a Queen Station. We'll beat that afternoon rush hour heading north. It's a 501 Queen Street car, which between McCall and the rest of downtown to the east has been diverted up to Dundas.
There's another 501 Queen. Street. There's a picture of that, or a view that sums up Toronto in a nutshell these days. Get off the sidewalk, buddy. This place is often lined up. I went to Ryu's Noodle Bar the other day on Danforth, and that, I think, is my favorite ramen in the city. Guess he couldn't find a tree or something. Hey, welcome to Toronto. <laughs> they got everything but the wheels in the frame. That building across the street is endangered. And this is Victoria Street straight ahead, and there is the backside of Dundas Square. I'll spare you the walk through Dundas Square on this one. Although maybe we'll get a little bit of a view of it. I guess I lied when I said I would spare you. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's doing something for YouTube. Looks like they're extending that screen over there on the northwest corner. So, welcome to the center of the known universe. 
is what people not from Toronto would like you to think that people from Toronto believe. Oh, just for a So it's once again south on the east side of Young. And Nordstrom is having their store closing sale and famously <laughs> they've been selling individual shoes for just one foot for five dollars. And another big retailer pulls out of Canada. Although they were in it a bit tough. So there's a Saks Fifth Avenue just south of here and a whole run through north in Yorkville. I think the market can only bear so many high end department stores or department stores, period. Young Street's usually one of the most liveliest and vibrant streets, even on a weekday afternoon. All right, let's follow these signs down to Queen Station. Let's see what time is it? It is. And this exercise on my watch, 3.38. So I'm just gonna head down to the platform, but I hope you enjoyed this one through the east side of downtown, including checking out the encampments at the Allen Gardens. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides and there is a super thanks button below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, <laughs> thank you for watching and I will reserve the yoink for when I'm on the platform. Free transfer, free transfer.
I had till 4.11, sweet. All right, next train in one minute. I think I hear it. Yoink. <laughs> 